deer soup. You look kind of weird, but smell delicious. And you were made by Tiff. What's in it? Some breath. Mm-hmm. Voices. Mm-hmm. A pork loin. A whole loin of a pork. A whole loin of a pork. And it gets you going in the loins. It's an incredible breakfast at 10.51 a.m. My goodness, it's dark for 10.51 a.m. Very dark for 10.51 a.m. <laughs> we definitely didn't start the day at like 8 p.m. It's definitely just morning. It's just, there's black garbage bags over the windows. So just in case anybody out there was wondering if whether or not I have the best girlfriend of all time, she dropped off something that might sway you to the positive. Sam knows that I love candy and brought me these wonderful candies. Uh, gummy frogs are my favorite, followed by cola bottles. She bought them for me when she was done work, dropped them off here, and then immediately left. Thank you, Sam. I know you watch these, so thank you so much for this. This really made my night. And the last two days have been difficult with a lot of news that I've been receiving about people that I know who happen to have COVID and how it's affecting some relationships of some people in my life. It's just really great when someone does something nice and small and completely unexpected and please take after Sam and if you can do something nice for somebody today just do it just do something super nice for them and leave in the comments so you get some recognition from other people I don't know let's go see what else is going on today so I found this book on my bookshelf the other day it's been chewed up on my dog but it's the book of questions they're questions that basically are if crazy scenario, would you A or B? So for example, what is the most outrageous thing you've ever done? Do you look back on it more with pleasure or regret? I jumped off a bridge. Pleasure or regret? I jumped for pleasure, it was fun, <laughs> but I was peer pressured into doing it because I didn't want to look uncool, which should not have happened. Never should have done that, stupid move. The undercurrent was from the locks, like the Welland locks. I would have been like swept away into the lake. Like I would have been gone if I had not been able to swim as strongly as I could. I regret being pressured by my friends. I definitely don't look back at it and go like, bad experience with my friends. Just very manipulable, Jimmy. Tiff, what's the most outrageous thing you've ever done? That's a really tough one. I feel like I do a lot of stuff like that. You say like jump off a bridge, but I'm pretty sure I did that every day one summer. Yeah, yeah, my life is just so vanilla. No, no, I mean, like, <laughs> but it's funny to look at like what people hold to be outrageous in their life. Bridge jumping wasn't super insane. Most outrageous. It says enunciate. So I have a mumble stutter. <laughs> Off topic side note. If you ever hear Tiff talking, Tiff being me, me is I, I is Tiff, you will either see subtitles or things that are just cut because I cannot be understood because yeah. I have a mumble stutter. And I will admit that now. And I don't think it really sound like her mother that much. I think it was real clearly. Yeah, what are you doing? She's really fast. I actually asked the question. She's mom's daughter. Yeah, you, you, I know what that you did. You know, you're like, well, all the, on, the, on that one wheel you got, you got over, you got over the front of the one wheel at the time. You guys laugh, but I speak mumble. I got every word of that. <laughs> <laughs> Most outrageous thing. Probably the New York City unicycle ride. Mm-hmm. 610 kilometers, tried to get on David Letterman, raise money for a charity, which kind of ties into the question we just answered, if you go over to my vlog. Pleasure or regret, a bit of both. Regret, not because I regret doing it, regret that I didn't do it better. I didn't know what SEO was, I didn't know the importance of pre-launch, launch, post-launch, post I didn't know how to properly brand a stunt like that because I think had I known, had I had those business tips and tools, I could have done a much better job at promoting it and then raised more money for the charity and had greater success with it. So definitely thinking about what to do this summer. I know that COVID happening might be a little different, but I think there's still a fun stunt as kind of an ode to the 10 year anniversary of the unicycle ride. So I've been thinking about that a lot, but definitely one of the most outrageous things I've ever done. Very cool. You can't tell if when you do that, if you're going in or out. I know, it's great. I'm one of them now and now I'm the other. Speaking of questions, the question of the day for the Magic Mystery Bag was asked by Natalie German, and the question is, is it a Rubik's Cube? The answer is... 
<laughs> you just offered to hold the vlog and I was like, no, I can do it. The answer is no, I keep my Rubik's Cube sitting here on the table, so it's not a Rubik's Cube. Please, we're running out of questions. I have to go back vlogs and vlogs and vlogs. Please ask questions in the comments below, even if you just watch it and you're like, I don't know what to ask. Ask anything, as long as it's yes or no and it narrows down what's in the magic mystery bag. It's not a Rubik's Cube. So a couple of days ago, I did a vlog in which there was no gratitude section. And that wasn't because I didn't film one, I actually did, but I realized how negative it kind of turned out and I wanted to reshoot it. The person that I was going to pay gratitude towards was my brother. So what's going on is there's a lot of really positive news coming out of first responders. They are in the hospitals, they're nurses, paramedics, doctors, working to get this thing under control and to help those who need help. These people deserve our love and support and respect. But they're not the only ones that are putting themselves in harm's way in order to keep life as close to normal as possible. My brother is a plumber, a tradesman, and tradesmen right now are essential workers who are going into homes for emergency calls, fixing pipes, fixing water heaters, everything from clogged toilets to electrical problems. My brother Dave is an incredible man. He's going into these people's homes and making a difference, helping them keep a relatively normal life. It would be really nice to see himself and a lot of other people in the trades get that kind of respect that they deserve because they, again, are going into these potentially harmful situations. So Dave, I love you, man. Hats off to every plumber, electrician, gas fitter, everybody that has to go into homes and help with these emergency situations. I have Nothing but respect for all of you, but especially my brother Dave, because I just happen to know him, so I'm biased. That's it for today's vlog. It is way too late. It's slash early in the morning. Please leave a question for the Magic Mystery Bag in the comments below, because I really need them. Even if you've asked a question that hasn't been answered, ask again. Even if you want to leave two questions, as many as you want, just in different comments if you don't mind. Thank you so much. Clap your thumbs if you believe. All kinds of extra love to you guys. And Jimmy Smash.